Hey folks, welcome to the Wolf Den one more time. This is the start of a new era. I just found out today that the Florida Sportsman Fishing Planner is no longer. Well, in front of you right here is 18 years of me using this book to book all my charters. Let me give you some examples. If you don't know what this book is, this book has the entire state of Florida's tides in it. The beginning was Northeast Florida, the very beginning of the book, and it worked its way down the coast to the Keys and up the other side, up Big Bend and around to the Panhandle, and all the tides for the whole entire state for every month is in here for every day. So I wore out, naturally, the very beginning of the book up here, fishing out of Mayport and Jacksonville. But what somebody would do is they'd call me, I'd immediately look at the tide, okay? I'd look at the days on the tides. Look at all the notes, the highlights and everything. And then over on this side, I would put staple pieces of paper on here and I'd write down the customer's name and his phone number and any details of how many people were on the trip and things like that. If you were ever around me for any length of time out fishing or whatever, you always saw me pulling out this book. Well, now it's no longer. I guess the day of apps and all that is really here because they're not even publishing this book anymore. And I can tell you, this is 18 years worth of books. 18 years right here. How it all started for me, really, I got the, I guess you could say, recognition because back, let's just say, in the very beginning, I was quoted on the inside right here about using your Tide Planner and how I used it. And I also, I mean, I've done everything from pull, when I did a radio show on Saturday morning, we used to pull all of our uh, trivia questions out of this book because it's got a bunch of great articles in the back and charts for saltwater temperatures. Whoa, there they go. I, mean, I got so many that things are going all over the place. I've used this book so much. If there's a, you know, there was a book that I ever read, <laughs> this was it, cover to cover. I used to look at the South Florida tides and go, geez, they don't hardly have any current compared to us. You know, everything. I mean, just take this one. The year 2000. I started using these in 1998, 1999, I think, as some of my oldest ones. I thought this was so neat that I plastered it right on the front as a keepsake. A quote, if I fished only to capture fish, my fishing trips would have ended long ago. Zane Gray said that. If you don't know who Zane Gray is, look him up. Simple things. I mean, back in the day, before these books, I found this. I used to keep notes in this because I don't know when, what year they came out with these, but I pretty much started right in the beginning, as soon as Florida Sportsman started publishing these books. There's some in here that are just so scribbled upon. It's unbelievable. I used to go along the edges of the book and right here, and I'd make little notes, okay? Water salinity was this. Um, 
certain amount, how much gas was. It's crazy, absolutely crazy of all the stuff that is written in here. I mean, look at this. Look at that. I'd be highlighting the tide. I'd be, look at it. See, even in here, I wrote myself a note. This is December of 2008 when the total collapse of everything started falling apart. But what do I say to myself? Get a new book. Well, I reminded myself now to get a new book and come to find out they're not making these anymore. Florida Sportsman. <laughs> you know, I used to get these books for free for a couple years because I was at the Florida Sportsman Fishing Show one year doing seminars, and I'm sitting at my booth, and somebody calls, and I opened up the book, and I'm looking at it and everything, and who's standing behind me? But David Blackwell from Florida Sportsman Magazine, who used to work there. He was in charge of the books, he said. He was standing right here. He comes walking around my table and he says to me, I've never seen anybody use this book like you. This is amazing. Can I see your book? And I'm, he's looking through it and he's seeing all these notes and everything. And he says, give me a quote. I want a quote from you to put on the front of the book. This is back before you had to buy your way into a Florida sportsman show. Okay. By, you know, it became all about money. And um, this is back when I was asked, I volunteered, okay? And now, of course, everybody on the front of these books are people who are paying money. I sold enough of these books that Florida Sportsman made money because I always talked about these books and, and promoted the fact that this is how you can create an excellent log book. I wrote... In, as a, my quote in the beginning, if you're serious about inshore fishing, the Florida Sportsman Fishing Platter needs to be part of your arsenal, like a rod and a reel. I don't book any trip without referring to it, thus making sure I know exactly when to be on the spot when the tide and current are right for my customers. That's how far I go back. Well, now I guess it's all apps, you know, sounders that are going to have the tides on it, the moon phases. Everything is getting really easy, easy, easy for the weekend guy, you know. I mean, he don't even want to anchor anymore, so now he's got a trolley motor to hold him in his spot while sitting there carrying three giant heavy batteries. There's a price to pay for all this technology, okay? You lose your phone and you were doing like I was doing here, Right? I've got some of these. This is before cell phones were even popular. Smartphones and all. You lose your phone. You have you get your phone wet or something. I always had, I got backup. That's what these books were. Backup. So what am I going to now? A regular planner book with each day. Where I'm going to write down everybody's name, phone number, all the information that I need. And then I guess I'll refer to an app. And look at the tides. I look at the tides from these. That's what I used to look at the tides from. I mean, golly, some of these are just so beat up. That look at the pages. I mean, they're just threadbare. I this is back in the year 2000, and I look back at some of the names of the people that I took out, and I I still remember the day. Okay, I remember the day and I remember the people. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. I recognize all, all these names and I, rem I remember these people. So, I guess I'm old school and I just wanted to put this out that, oh my gosh, Florida sportsman. Florida sportsman. You were, you were a huge part of my everyday life, and you won't be anymore. So, goodbye, Florida sportsman. I just wanted to share that with you, because this is 18 books right here. 18 years of notes. I mean, I've got where I've run down to the Danes Point Bridge after a huge, huge storm and checked the salinity levels. It's in here. I mean, this is, it's kind of amazing when I look back, 
This won't mean nothing to nobody else. I'm going to keep all these. I'm going to keep this little notepad because it's got a ton of little history in it as far as I'm concerned when gas was $4 a gallon. I went to Wally's World today and I'll be toting this book around and I guess I'll be looking more at my apps. I'm not an appy guy. I'm not a smartphone guy. Um, I'm kind of using it a little bit more because I've got the GoPros that are real app friendly and one of my GoPros you have to use the app just to format the SD card in it. Thanks for watching. This is Old School Dave using New School Technology, the GoPro Hero 5 Black and right at this moment now because this is what the, the new technology can do is GoPro stop recording.